Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a little cooking tutorial, but this is more of me just sharing a recipe, okay? I've been out in the shop working all day, and um, you may or may not have kept up with me, but I'm Terry Hall, and you never know what you're going to catch me doing. I love crafting and that kind of thing, um, and decorating and painting, um, just a little bit of everything. So that's what Moxie Me Boutique is all about. So tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really quick dinner to put together for the whole family will love it, okay? Um, we've always called this a mexi taxi casserole and um, it's something that my family's made. We can't take credit for it because at some point it was a recipe that was found somewhere in a magazine or on the back of a can or something, but we've, uh, we've just always had this. So you preheat your oven to 375 degrees and um, the ingredients will be your hamburger meat. Um, I usually use maybe about a maybe about a pound and a half. Let's see what this is. This is three, four, yeah, probably about a pound and a half. Just kind of use your judgment, okay? Um, and then it takes a can of the Armor Star chili with beans. A can of whole kernel corn doesn't matter what kind I just don't get the cream corn okay it needs to be the whole kernel corn it takes a packet of taco seasoning mix um, I've already locked these things open but a can of biscuits I prefer the little small cans um, the little smaller biscuits but we can make these work and I don't get like the butter uh, the butter biscuits and stuff like that this is just the Southern Homestyle brands, okay? And um, the extra sharp cheese. I love Kraft cheese. It's up to you, but I use the extra sharp. And um, I use uh, the um, cornmeal, okay? So you can use pretty much whatever you have on hand, but um, this is what I have uh, here with me tonight, and that's the self-rising cornmeal okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this meat started and get it drained okay so we're gonna brown the hamburger meat and get that drained and then I'll pick back up in just a minute okay okay I have the hamburger meat um, ready to go let's see if I could get that down for you so you can see that all nice and brown I've got this camera kind of rigged up here, so forgive me for that. Um, this is a La Crusade uh, skillet. If you don't have one, you need one. It definitely holds up. But it's heavy. Alright, so drain the hamburger meat. Kind of swish it around in there. Make sure you get most of the off of it. Put it back into the pan. My little rig is not working on my camera for me to do this. I'm just going to kind of show you what I got going here. I poured this back in after draining it. And I'm going to add the taco seasoning. Whole pack. And then I am going to go over and get water and the little packet. Yeah. Kind of what I do, I just put the water in the packet and pour it over into this. Just get back over and turn the water off. I'm doing this one handed. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So I got this going, and I drain the corn. Okay, 
And now that I got that mixed up, because it kind of makes a sauce. If you just kind of dump everything over in there, it's not going to mix up that sauce as well. So now I can just put in my can of corn. Y'all will give me just one second. I'm gonna get this um, situated. Okay, so sorry about that. I had to read up my camera again. <laughs> Where there's a wheel, there's a way. And if there's one thing for sure, I have a wheel. <laughs> it's a pretty strong one too. I'm adding in the Armor Star chili with beans in there. I'm gonna get this bubbly and hot. So that's all of the ingredients that go in there. Okay, that's better. So we're gonna get all this mixed up. Get it bubbling hot and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this bubbling hot and I have my casserole dish. My rathers would be to have a deeper one, like more square and deep or at least oval, but I don't have one. I keep meaning to get one, but this will work just fine. I've used it plenty of times for this, but um, if you could smell this, <laughs> you'd be wanting a bite. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over into the casserole dish. You have to be careful if you're using this kind of pot because like I told you, it is heavy as everything. Scoop it all out. Turn this burner off because we are done with that. Spread it all out into the casserole dish. And honestly, if you're gonna do this and you're gonna feed a larger family, it would be better to double the recipe and just fill this on up. Um, this would work great for that. But anyway, the next thing is you'll see how I got the cheese grated i got the cornmeal here and my biscuits kind of cubed up okay um so what i do is i take the biscuits and i just start dredging them in the cornmeal kind of press them down and get it completely covered with the biscuits you don't press them down too far but it's just to make sure that the biscuits cook into the casserole a little bit. Goes pretty fast. And if you don't want to cube them, if you want to keep them like usually we used to do like a half moon kind of shape, but because I'm using this bigger dish, I thought that this would go better. The biscuits would cover better if I did them like this. So I'm just going with it. simple and the best part about it is the children love this. The adults and the children. So it's a really good compromise for dinner or supper. Whichever case you call it. I used to call it supper until people started looking at me. I was raised calling it supper. I saw that discussion just recently on Facebook. So that kind of worked out nicely. Take the cheese, and I've probably got way too much cheese, but I've got my dog's attention. She loves for her cheese. She does love to eat it. You can just take the cheese and sprinkle it all over. I'm not worried that it got into the formula. Okay. 
Okay, and then once you got that covered with the cheese, pop it in the oven at 375 and let it cook until the biscuits are done. And usually it's done about the time that the biscuits say that they should stay in the oven. So I'll catch back up with you when it's finished. Okay, we're finishing up. I'm gonna get this out of the oven for you so you can see. It's really important that your biscuits get toasted, okay? Because if they don't, with the filling there and the cheese, it's going to be mushy and that's no good, okay? So, um, and kind of give you a little look. It is scrumptious. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy the Texy Mexi Hamburger Casserole.